I must warn you, when you make this recipe I'm about to share with you, you're literally going to finish it in one sitting and you will want to eat this every single day. This is a childhood favorite of mine and I am sharing the recipe with you and it's no other than the Nigerian Rough Rock Crunchy Buns. Just hear that crunch. Hmm. I'm going to add more. friends let's get started the list of ingredients and the measurements for this rough burns will be in the description box in a large bowl you want to measure and sift six cups of all-purpose flour next you're going to go in with four teaspoons of baking powder try to use the measuring spoons okay Next, we are going to go in with a teaspoon of salt. If you're using salted butter for this recipe, you can reduce the quantity of your salt. I went in with some nutmeg. I love my nutmeg, very light. Use as much and as little as you like. I'm going in with a cup of sugar. <laughs> All right, here I was actually contemplating using that entire cup of sugar, but I gave in. Once in a while to indulge yourself is not bad, okay? You want to mix all the dry ingredients until everything is well combined. Next, I have four tablespoons of butter. You can use margarine if you do not have butter, but trust me, I think to get the real authentic taste of this um, rough rock burns, you have to use a good quality butter. And I think butter works better than the margarine, but use it, it will still be delicious, trust me, okay? So you want to work in your butter. I know you will be tempted to add more, but trust me, a little goes a long way. This recipe calls for very few ingredients, but it is so, so good. So you want to work in your butter to give you this bread crumb like consistency, although it's not going to be a lot. And then next you're going to go in with four small eggs. This six cups of flour calls for two large eggs, but because my legs, my eggs, I said legs, <laughs> Because my eggs are quite small, I am using four small eggs, okay? If they are medium, you can use three. Now friends, I want you to pay attention to this dough because this forms the basis of this rough rock burns. This is a childhood favorite of mine and this recipe is a winner. I went in with some vanilla essence. That is completely optional as well but it gives it a fantastic aroma, you know that, right? Mm. The secret is in this dough, so pay attention to what I am doing or you end up with just the regular burns mm. that we have around. But if what you're looking for is the crunchy, decadent, delicious burns, and I believe that a lot of people have actually not tested mm. this because this is uh, something that is popular back in the north but i've never really seen it here in lagos or anywhere <laughs> so this is different now we're going to mix some milk and i'm using some cold milk here i'm using about a cup of milk and you want to pour in your milk slowly you pour in a little bit and then you mix now in mixing this dough You'll be tempted to want to mix it in such a way that it gets smooth. No, 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 don't do that. What we're looking for is the name of this burns. Rough. <laughs> Rock burns. <laughs> so guess what? The mixture is going to be rough as well. Very, very rough. Unattractive. Yeah. <laughs> so we want to mix this. And I will keep checking and I went in with my fingers to make it look rougher than it is. The whole idea in mixing it this way is to make sure that 
all the ingredients are well combined while at the same time stopping the dough from binding together into and forming a lot of gluten you don't want your gluten to form at all that is what we're looking for you just want all the ingredients to mix in nicely so i went in with the last batch of milk because there is still some dry flour underneath so we're going to mix that until we achieve the perfect consistency this should take you all of five minutes so now there's no dry flour under and I think my dough is done. If you keep mixing, the gluten keeps forming and that is what we do not want. So our burns is ready for flying. While you start mixing and adding your ingredients, the wet ingredients, you can go ahead and put your oil on fire and set whatever you need to fry it with because we are going to go ahead and fry this burns right away. So I am prepping to make sure that I have my paper towel ready to strain out excess oil. And here I went in with some oil on fire and I'm going to heat that up, do the onion test until it's high on medium heat. You want to fry your burns on medium high heat so that it will cook evenly from the inside out, okay? So you fetch this burns you do you're not fetching it to look for a perfect shape no 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 <laughs> even my husband had not eaten this burns before until i started making it and he was like oh my god what's this it looks so ugly i was like try it first <laughs> it's his favorite yeah trust me <laughs> so fetch it roughly and drop in your oil and you will go back and flip and flip and fry until this nicely golden brown. So we're turning this for the first time and I'm going to fry the other side and still flip so that the other side will still continue to brown. And then doing it this way will ensure that your burns cooks nicely inside and it's going to be soft and delicious on the inside and then very crunchy on the outside. <laughs> Look at how beautifully golden brown this looks. Amazing, right? And it's so easy to make. With just a few ingredients that you already have available in your kitchen. Your children will thank you for this recipe. My daughter loves it so much. In fact, she ate it before she slept. I had to tell myself I shouldn't let her get used to this. look at how beautiful it looks now a tip a quick tip because there's egg in this mixture you'll notice that your oil will begin to form as you continue frying it's easier for the first fry so i advise that you can put off the fire and let the oil cool down a bit before you continue frying if you have the time okay So this, our burns is ready. We're going to go ahead and fry the rest of the batch and we'll enjoy it. Another quick tip, this burns can be eaten warm just as it is. But guess what? When you let it cool down completely, oh my God, it takes the crunchiness to the next level. Look at how beautiful. Have you subscribed to this channel yet? What are you waiting for? Hit on that subscribe button for more 
sumptuous recipes like this. Thank you so much for watching. I now want you to enjoy the crunch yet again. Hmm. Can you hear that? Crunchy. Hmm. Let's add more.